Greetings, microscopists. My name's Eric Miller from Instructinate, and I've been working with electron microscopes now for about 20 years. I've worked in academia, Silicon Valley, and even for an electron microscope manufacturer. I've had to buy electron microscopes, and I've seen how they get sold. Through my own experience, I know that purchasing something as big as an electron microscope can be very stressful and very confusing. I mean, the first time I had to buy an SEM, I was freaked out. Out. Am I buying the best instrument for the job I have to do? Am I getting what I want? Am I paying too much? Will the instrument even be reliable? So I've compiled a list of things that I think will be extremely useful to someone who's looking to purchase an electron microscope. So subscribe to be notified the next time I post a new chapter. Tip number one, the most important tip of them all, always get a demo. Since this is going to be a recurring theme throughout most of my tips, it's going first. You need to get a sit-down, in-person demo of the instrument before you buy. Well, why is that? Well, do you ever buy a car without taking it for a test drive? No, you want to see how it handles, where all the controls are, how the seats feel, etc. The same thing is going to be true with the electron microscope. You want to see with your own eyes how fast the system takes to pump down, how easy the software is to use, how many options the software does or doesn't have. For example, let's say you're very interested in feature A on the instrument. You wanna see how it works in person with your own eyes. You wanna make sure you understand what goes into making that function operate. You do not wanna find out after you've already purchased the instrument that feature A is really difficult to use. Or even worse, that feature A only works under a very specific set of conditions that makes it incompatible with feature B that you wanted to use simultaneously with feature A. I mean, at that point, you are up a six-figure creek without a paddle. I've had this happen to me before, and it sucks, but you can avoid it by always getting a demo. Don't assume it's just going to do what the salesperson tells you it will. Make the manufacturer show it to you. For example, if the manufacturer provides you with this beautiful image, you say, yes, I'll take it. But then when you go in for a demo, you see what it actually takes to get that image. At that point, you may change your mind. Getting a demo allows you to see how the sausage gets made. How many clicks does it take to get something done? How many things need to be installed or deinstalled, etc. But really, the main reason to always get a demo is that different instruments will perform slightly differently under the exact same operating conditions. Simply relying on the probe current or resolution specifications in the manufacturer's brochure is a bad idea. Resolution is usually calculated on a gold on carbon sample, not your sample. You need to get your sample into the instrument to see how it will actually do. Also, resolution specifications are calculated differently by each manufacturer, which means you can't trust those numbers. Some may be exaggerated, some may even be understated. You won't know until you get a demo. That's all I got for you today. I hope it was informative for you, and please make sure to subscribe and come back for future episodes to learn the best practices on how to go about buying an electron microscope. Check out my socials and contact me directly if you're interested in having me come to your site to teach you how to use your SEM. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next time.